Handoff. Handoff to Atlantis has occurred from the ground launch sequencer. Nozzle check of the SRBs. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle of Lights. The final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way. Atlantis on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis. Houston, no action on the MPS H2 out, P. Houston, we copy, no action. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Houston, Atlantis copies, go at throttle up. Seven miles in altitude. Altitude 49,000 feet. Systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is 18 miles uh, and altitude, downrange 23 miles, already traveling 2,500 miles per hour, approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters, which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Solid rocket boosters have done their job. Atlantis is uh, continuing in its due easterly course to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope one last time. Altitude 35 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 51 miles. Altitude uh, 195,000 feet. Atlantis is traveling 3,300 miles per hour. Again, all three main engines are in good shape. Atlantis, single engine Banjul 104. Uh, that call indicating that uh, Atlantis could reach Banjul in the Gambia, although that is not a transoceanic abort landing site. Atlantis, negative Maroon, select Banjul. Houston, we copy. Negative Maroon, selecting Banjul. Vehicle rolling to uh, heads up now to get good communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Six minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. Downrange from the launch site, 4,030 miles. Altitude, 353,000 feet, or about 67 miles. Press 109. Houston, we copy. Single engine press 109. Your shutdown plan is nominal. You are go for the plus X and go for the pitch. And the views as the crew uh, sees it through the forward uh, windows of the orbiter through the head heads up display. The twin uh, sonic booms heralding the arrival of Atlantis to the uh, landing site. Time to touch down three minutes. Altitude 34,000 feet, traveling 160 miles per hour.
Atlantis, on at the 180. Copy, Houston, on at the 180. Pilot Greg Johnson now flying Atlantis. The orbiter is halfway around the heading alignment circle to line up with runway 22. The northeast to southwest approach end of uh, runway 2204. And Commander Scott Altman now uh, flying Atlantis the rest of the way. Time to touch down two minutes. Atlantis on at the 90. Houston, Atlantis copies. On at the 90. Altitude 12,000 feet. Houston Atlantis, field in sight at 10,000 feet. Copy, field in sight. Seven thousand feet. Four thousand feet. Two thousand feet. Commander Scott Altman beginning to uh, flare out the uh, vehicle, pitch the nose up uh, as he approaches uh, runway two two from the northeast. Three hundred feet. Uh, landing gear down. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis is rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, completing 197 orbits of the Earth while traveling 5,276,000 miles. This landing marks the 53rd shuttle mission to end at Edwards Air Force Base. Atlanta spent seven days servicing the Hubble Space Telescope that included five spacewalks, totaling a record 37 hours. Atlantis has completed its 30th mission and the 126th in the history of the Space Shuttle program. The Hubble Space Telescope's final servicing mission is complete, but its mission of discovery is just beginning. Welcome home, Atlantis. Congratulations on a very successful mission, giving Hubble a new set of eyes that will continue to expand our knowledge of the universe.